Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you a model which is a fine-tuned one but it doesn't refuse anything. I stumbled upon this model on Hugging Face where its creator was actually complaining, sort of complaining that they have fine-tuned this model as part of some research or some tooling and now they have a problem where this model is not refusing anything and when that happens with any model it means that it's a great candidate for role playing in this video i am going to not only describe this model to you we will be installing it locally and i will more importantly show you a role play with it by using uba Booga and text generation web ui or silly tavern and we will also see how that works i will try to keep it as civil as possible because uh, of course we have to uh, you know uh, keep track of the models and the youtube's guidelines but at the same time we will try to make it as interesting as possible if you don't know what silly tavern is or U text generation web ui or uba booga is please go to my channel and just search with uba booga or silly tavern and you should be able to find this first video where which you can watch if you're following along and you can install both silly tavern and uba booga locally with quite an easy with even if you have never done that, I am more than sure that by following that video, you should become pretty comfortable with both tools. Also, if you are into role play or if you want to do the role play, I would highly, highly recommend that you should install the Sully Tavern and Uba Booga. Of course, I already have done heaps of videos on it from different angles. So then I'm more than sure once you do the role play and it's a whole new world. I can't really show or tell everything about it. Just read between the lines this is so interesting and so addictive i think this could uh, really become the new hobby for you if you are into it now i already have both of these installed so let's go back to our model which is called as oxy one small now this model is a fine-tuned version of the very very fine model coin 2.5 14 billion instruct this model specializes in role play scenarios and I already have told you the reason. Despite its small size, it delivers impressive performance in generating, engaging dialogues and interactive storytelling. Also, this aims to provide an accessible and efficient language model for creative and immersive role play experiences. This model is Apache 2 license. But as it's a fine-tuned version of Coin2, I think you should also check out the licensing of that base model. The contact size is 32K and output tokens of max is, I believe, 8K. As I said, main feature is a role play. But also it is quite efficient in, come in terms of faster inference and I have seen it actually loading it. Despite of its size of 14 million, it is not that heavy on VRAM. Now, I already have loaded this model here in my text generation web UI bed. And if you have it, just put your Oxy1 small here, click on download and you can see it has successfully loaded onto my GPU. So if I quickly show you my VRAM consumption, you would need, you would know how much VRAM do you need. So Nvidia SMI. So just around 29 gig of VRAM. So make sure that you have that much VRAM on your system. So I already have this loaded and then I already have Silly Tavern running. Let me take you to my Silly Tavern. So this is my Silly Tavern. Now, if you, as I said, if you don't know about Silly Tavern, please watch that video, which I already have shown you. If I just take you there, you see that I already have this Oxy, you know, one integrated with it. There are a lot of sites out there, which where you can download the Silly Tavern cards. In very simple words, what these silly tavern cards do, they provide you a character which you can use for role play. So what I have done, I have just gone to this site chap.ai, which is very, very famous one. But beware, when you go there, there are a lot of NSFW content there uh, and similar sites are the same. From there, I have just gone in and uh, obtained this uh, Isekai RPG. I, I know that maybe I'm not pronouncing it right, but this seems quite interesting. Now. What this Esakai is, it is a popular Japanese term that roughly translates to different world or transported to another world. It's a very, very common theme in Japanese anime, manga and light novels. In the Esakai story, 
the protagonist is often suddenly and unexpectedly transported or reincarnated from their ordinary world to a different usually fantastical world this new world could be anything from a medieval style fantasy to a futuristic sci-fi universe so if you go to silly tavern i have just loaded this card here as you can see on the right hand side now in this one you see if i just take you above there you go so it says that this is the Sekai world in in this a different world just read through it it says you open your eyes it seems they have been closed for some reason sure enough you are in the same bus you have been in for the past couple of hours the bus you boarded from for the school trip you take a look around and see you see your fellow students they are talking among themselves looking out the window and pointing around they seem quite frantic you decide to take a look out the window yourself your eyes widen with surprise gone is the mountainous region you have been accustomed to seeing for the past couple hours instead it seems the bus is in the middle of a massive open field and then your thoughts are interrupted by the sudden opening of the door at the front of the bus a girl seemingly only a bit older than you dressed in what might describe as some sort of magical girl cosplay steps through and then she is introducing that i'm the great grandchild of the great sage now i'm not going to read further because and the reason why i read it because it is necessary so you see this is a sekai world where <clears throat> this bus of students has been transported to a different fantastical world where this uh, they have met this character shion and then now as soon as she finishes her explanation she vanishes without a trace leaving the class to their own devices it seems the sages aren't keen on watching you have very so now everyone is confused what to do what is a sage and all that stuff so from there uh, you need to just carry it on now if i click here this is my character it's a 46 year old single man from sydney australia totally fanta fantastical character imaginative character so from here you can just start talking and then it will do the role play you can navigate through the world so i'm going to do the role play now because it is it doesn't refuses anything so what i will do i will put a prompt here and i will try to navigate it as uh, nicely as possible but if there is any nsfw i'm not going to show you that so let me put something here so normally what i do in this sri world or similar one i just say status because i haven't read all of it when I will just say status, it normally what it does is it, um, for example, in this one, uh, the character Shion mentioned that something status. So this might give me uh, a battle song system to give me further information. So I'm just going to press enter here. And now this is what the model is going to do its magic. And there are some other uh, inventory and all those powers and spells and that sort of stuff. So let's wait for the model to come back. And there you go so as we are we are just starting out it is showing me that we are level one and then critical chance there so most of the values are either none or zero so which is fine because we have just started out so status looks good let's uh, try to say we should search the bus for any clues or useful items before we leave let's see what model says now or the sri world so you see the whole scene is there now many of the students agree with your suggestion and the group begins to search the bus for anything that might be useful. After a few minutes of rummaging uh, through the seats and compartments, you find several items scattered throughout the vehicle. So Katie is saying, hey, look at this. She holds up a small pouch containing several shiny gems. These must be valuable. And then Takao is saying something. So and then there is again a status of everything now i'm just saying katie be careful with those gems we don't know what they are worth or what kind of power they might hold and there you go you see so katie nods carefully placing the pouch inside her backpack she shrugs at your cautionary words and then says something and then another character ignotus say oh guys we should probably figure out our next move so i'm just saying ignotus has a point does anyone have a map or any other information about this world? We can't just wander around aimlessly. So you see, now just think, step back and think all of these 
dialogues all of this scenery i love these emotion all of these emotions and everything the flow and the coherency this is due to the model um, so this silly tavern this text generation web ui even this character card and this world all of it they are just tools behind the scene all the intelligence all this uh, fun part is coming from the model there you go so again now it says no one in the group seems to have any map or detailed knowledge of the area. So Karen pipes up, but it looks like we are going to have to start walking somewhere. The group agrees. You give her that her voice gives So blades of grass and then again there are a few stats. And then I am asking it, let's be careful. We don't know what that thing is. Yuki, can you describe it to us? What does it look like? So you see. From here you can just say anything to it even you know you can go off rail and then um, this is just going to be so much fun it all depends upon your imagination you see so it is just nothing and then and then I'm just saying this so it's just sort of a text movie and then of course you can uh, you know there are tools that you can use for um, voiceover where you can just speak and it will do like that and you can steer the story anywhere you like and then look at the response of the model and you can already tell that now it is going off the rails as you can see here and then also this one so but so i'm just going to stop it here because it seems that uh, it is going off the rails so i'm not going to pursue it further but you got the idea more than sure so fairly good model for role play the size the quality everything looks so good so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts i think for this week uh, i would say this is one of the best role play model i have seen this week not sure about the next one so if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching